For a convicted murderer, Alec Murdoch argued that Beaufort County should not be the home for his next trial on the more than 100 state financial crimes he's facing. Attorneys Dick Harputlian and Jim Griffin have filed a motion to change the location or delay the start of the trial for at least another year, blaming the media frenzy. Anna Harris breaks down now more of this request and what it could mean in the weeks to come. Alec Murdoch's attorneys are asking why to rush this case before the end of 2023 and why try this case before any other pending criminal cases against the defendant. Murdoch's motion to transfer venue blames the unprecedented media coverage of his original double murder trial for the switch, adding that since the trial ended in March, there have been two docuseries on the trial and two movies on Alec himself released. Court documents state that out of 167 questionnaires from a jury panel, 147 panel members admitted to having prior knowledge of Murdoch's crimes. Some of those questionnaires state, my mind is made up on this case. No, normally I'd say yes, but in this case, given the defendant, I already believe he is guilty. And I believe he is guilty of killing his wife and son, if that counts. Murdoch's attorneys argue that some counties in the upstate could be a better fit for finding an impartial jury, but it is very doubtful given the present media climate. Murdoch's attorneys say although every juror's fixed opinion should not judge impartially, quote, however, a simple statement from a juror stating he can set aside what he had previously heard and be fair and impartial should not be blindly accepted. Murdoch has already pleaded guilty to similar federal crimes back in September, which was held in Charleston where no change of venue was requested. The trial for his state financial crimes is set for November 27th. In the newsroom, Anna Harris, Live 5 News.